Last weekend, the Idaho House of Representatives narrowly passed a bill to regulate e-cigarettes and vape products the same as traditional tobacco. Find out more on this edition of Ruthless Insider. Hello and welcome to another edition of Ruthless Insider. HB 538, sponsored by Representative Fred Wood, argued requiring vendors that sell vaping products and e-cigarettes be permitted through the state and inspected by the Department of Health and Welfare would ensure products aren't sold to minors. Vape advocates and opponents to the bill believe that it creates unnecessary regulation because it's already illegal for those under 18 to possess or use those products. Those in support won with a vote of 38 to 32. One of the strongest critics of the legislation was Representative Vito Barbieri, who argued that vaping products are an excellent alternative to smoking cigarettes and the harm from nicotine products comes from burning tobacco. The Center for Disease Control continues to warn that nicotine use is especially harmful for those under 18 because it can increase the chance of addiction to other drugs and stunt development of the brain. House Majority Caucus Chairwoman Megan Blanksma said that she did not want children to be vaping, but thought the legislation was redundant because anyone under 18 is already banned from using the products. She said, quote, If what you're looking for is to provide some sort of additional barrier between kids and these vape products, that is not the legislation that does that. Unfortunately, several representatives argue strongly for the regulations, saying that they're necessary to keep the industry in check and keep these products away from children. While it is a breath of fresh air to see some reps taking a more common sense approach to the legislation regarding vapor products, it seems that it just wasn't enough to stop this bill from passing the House. How long do you think that legislators and representatives will continue to push this narrative and moving closer to the PMTA deadline, what will be left of the industry in May? Please share your thoughts with us down below and as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and ring that bell button to keep up to date with all of our Ruthless content. This has been Nick with Ruthless Insider and we'll see you in the next video.